Hey guys, I am so glad to be meeting with you today. This is the third Sunday in Advent. It is the third week that you and I are going to be getting together to study God's word and to study about the birth of Jesus, our savior, who came down to earth as a baby, who lived among us, remember Emmanuel, God with us, came to earth to live with us, lived 33 perfect years here on earth, then died on the cross for our sins and is now in heaven preparing a place for us. So it's so important that every year we go through and we um, learn more about and we celebrate this time, this birth of our Savior, because all of it leads to where we'll eventually be. So right now, let's get into our devotion. It is Luke 2, verse 8. That's the Bible verse we're going to be reading for today. And it says, And in the same region where sh there were shepherds out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And so the name of our devotion for today is Let's Go With the Shepherds. Our poem says, So how will all the people know that Jesus Christ is born? God chose the most amazing ways to share the news that morn. How would you announce the news that a new baby was born? You should ask your mom and dad how they shared the news of your birth. There were no cell phones or Facebook pages when Jesus was born, but God did not need them. God used bigger, bolder, more amazing ways to announce the birth of his son than had ever been imagined before. Keep your eyes open these next weeks to see the bright new ways God sends out the message and pay attention to those whom God is messaging. Let's pray. Dear God, perhaps we won't see angels or a bright star in the sky, but thank you for filling this season with reminders of your son's birth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. But before I send you out, would you like to know why this is here today? Well, first of all, this is my Bible study corner. And typically, this is totally distraction free. It's just me and my Bible study bag. And I have all my materials all set out, my Bible, my Luther small catechism, whatever Bible um, study series I'm using at that time to help keep me focused in the word. Um, also a notebook usually so that I can make notes and draw pictures. I like to draw when I'm studying the Bible. Then for today only, I have included um, the nativity that my two sisters, I have two older sisters that my two sisters gave me. Um, and this is an especially neat nativity set for me. First of all, because my sisters gave it to me. And secondly, because each one of the little figurines has got a Bible verse on it. So Mary's is from the book of Luke, and it's Luke 1, verse 46, and it says, My soul magnifies the Lord. And that is something that Mary said that was recorded in Scripture for us to read years later. And so each one of these um, different characters, we've got the three kings, we've got Joseph, we've got the shepherd, and we've got Jesus. We also have an angel. Each one of them has a different scripture verse from um, either the prophecy of Jesus being born, like um, Joseph's here, it says, uh, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. And that's from Isaiah. And so each one has a Bible verse on it. So just at first glance, you can see that this is the, the nativity, and you know about you can you can know that it's about Christ's birth. And then if you have a few more moments and you read each one of these different figures, you can learn a little bit more and have God's word in your mind. It's such a wonderful thing. And so my sisters, they really went above and beyond when they found this one for me. They did a great job. But after today, this is going to go back to its regular spot because it would be way too distracting for me. I need to focus, and, and for me, sometimes it's hard for me to sit down and do that. So I like to keep things very simple when I'm going to go and study the Bible. I wonder how you do it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!